Stanley's Day Out. Stanley is a happy little engine. He enjoys whatever work he is given. His favourite place is to work in the yards of Great Waterton. He helps out to restore it after Thomas discovered it. He worked very well with Thomas. Stanley likes to please the fat controller and is keen to do his jobs. One day Stanley was resting in the yards when the station master came to see him. Can you go to Great Waterton Station please? He said, the fat controller is waiting for you. Yes sir, said Stanley and he set off out of the yards. When Stanley arrived at Great Waterton Station he could see the fat controller waiting for him. The fat controller, Lady Hat, Stephen Bridget, Dowager Hat and Gremlin the dog all stood on the platform. Hello, whistled Stanley. Hello Stanley, said Stephen and Bridget. Stanley, this is my mother, the fat controller introduced. She has travelled all the way from the mainland to visit my railway. Pleased to meet you, smiled Stanley. Hello Stanley. Smiled Dowager Hat. A woof woof. Now, Stanley, I have a job for you, said the fat controller. Stanley was excited. My mother would like a tour of the hills of Great Waterton, said the fat controller. She's keen to see the sights from up there. Yes, sir, smiled Stanley. Go and collect your quarters and then come straight back here, ordered the fat controller kindly. We will be waiting here for you, said Lady Hat. I'll be right back, puffed Stanley and he set off to the coach yard. Stanley was soon on his way back to Great Waterton with two old coaches. These coaches were Stanley's favourite to use. They may be old, but they were still really useful. I cannot wait to get into the hills, of Stanley. It's going to be fun! Stanley couldn't wait to start his journey. Then he heard a strange clanking sound coming from his wheels. Stanley was surprised. What's that? he gasped. Stanley's driver stopped him by a water tower. While the fireman puts the water hose in Stanley's tank, the driver checks Stanley's wheels. I'm not sure what's wrong with you, Stanley, he said, but I think we had better get you to the works to have you checked. Oh no, please, groaned Stanley. Not yet, otherwise the fat controller will get another engine to do my job. Please don't send me to the works yet. Very well, said the driver, but if this happens again, we must go to the works. Stanley was relieved. He didn't want anyone else to do his jobs. As soon as he had taken on enough water, he set off again. He hoped the clanking noise wouldn't come back. Stanley arrived back at Great Waterton Station. The fast control of his family were waiting. Hello again, smiled Stanley. Are you ready to go? Oh, I can't wait to get into the hills, said Dowager. All those hills will be a delight to see. Please, Grandpa, said Stephen. Can we go too? pleaded Bridget. A oh, woof woof. So are you two, smiled the fat controller, but your great grandma would like to have this trip on her own. Don't worry, smiled Lady Hat. We're going to be taking Grandma for a walk into town. Come along then, said the fat controller. So the family left the platform and Dowager Hat climbed on board the train. Right then, Stanley, said the driver. Off we go. Yes, sir, cheered Stanley. He blew his whistle and set off happily out of the station. Stanley raced happily along the line. He felt very pleased with himself. As he puffed along the long straight track, the clanking sound came back. Oh no! Get off Stanley, go away! No sooner had the clanking came back, there was a rattling sound. Where's my buffer? cried Stanley. What's happening? They ran in the bend and stopped by the big shed. Here we are, said Stanley bravely. We're here at Great Waterton Sheds. Dowager Hat climbed down to look. She looked for a while. Just then Neville puffed in. He had been working at the coal mines. He was glad of a rest. Hello, whistled Neville. What are you doing? I'm taking Dowager Hat for a ride around Great Waterton Hills, smiled Stanley. Hello, Dowager Hat, smiled Neville. I'm Neville. Pleased to meet you, Neville, said Dowager Hat. Then she turned to Stanley. Come on, Stanley, time to go. Yes, Dowager Hat, said Stanley. As soon as Dowager Hat was back on board, Stanley set off again. Neville whistled goodbye. Stanley raced up the hill. He was heading towards Morgan's Mine. Morgan's Mine was a mine deep in the hills. 
Stanley remembered Thomas and Benson in the mine. Then as Stanley reached the top, clanking and rattling, he came back. Stanley groaned. Not again, he said. Stanley tried to ignore it, but it wouldn't go away. When they reached Morgan's mine, Stanley stopped. The fireman took Dowager Hat to see the mine. Stanley's driver checked Stanley's wheels. There could be a problem with your pistons, he said. We'll have to take you to the works now. No, cried Stanley. I'm not going to let Dowager Hat down. I've come this far. I'm sure I can make it back to the station. Have it your own way, said the driver. If we break down in the hills, we'll be stuck, and it will take a while for help to arrive. Dowager Hat soon returned. She saw Stanley looking worried. Are you all right? She asked. Y yes stuttered Stanley. I'm oh, okay, nothing wrong. Good, smiled Dowager Hat. Then off we go. Stanley set off again, feeling more worried than ever. Stanley raced towards the hill. He was determined to get to the top. So as soon as he arrived, he charged for the top. His wheels whirred and his axles ate, but Stanley was determined to make it to the top. If I can get to the top without making any noises, he thought, I will have won. Stanley huffed and puffed and chuffed. At last he made it to the top. Hooray! I made it! Then it happened. The clanking and the rattling came back. But before Stanley could say anything, he started to shake violently. No! Stop now! The noises and the shaking didn't stop. Stanley was scared. Dowager Hat felt the coaches rock and roll as she was shaking from left to right. Now she was sure something was wrong. Stanley, dear! She cried, Stop! Stanley's driver applied the brakes and the train stopped. The driver and fireman got clear. Dowager Hat climbed down from the train and saw Stanley shake. She was worried. Stanley, are you all right? she asked. Stanley shook for a moment and then stopped. He felt very upset. I'm sorry, Dowager Hat, he sighed. I'm not feeling well. I have something wrong with my wheels. Dowager Hat was not happy. Why didn't you get yourself fixed? she asked Stanley. I was worried the fat controller would get another engine to take you, explained Stanley. I was looking forward to taking you and I didn't want to let you down. I didn't want to let the fat controller down either, he went on. I never liked to let the fat controller down. If I do a job, I stick to it and I don't stop until the job's done. Dowager Hat listened. She understood what Stanley was saying. Then she smiled. Stanley, she said, you should have told us you weren't feeling well. We would have understood. I was worried you would be cross, said Stanley. Then I wouldn't be able to be really useful to you at all. Come on, Stanley, said Dowager Hat. It's time to get you fixed. Stanley knew Dowager Hat was right. Stanley's driver telephoned for help. Edward was soon on his way. He raced as fast as he could. He soon arrived to help. Stanley was pleased to see him. Come on, puffed Edward. Let's get you back to the station. Edward was coupled to the back of the train and the cavalcade set off once more for Great Waterton. They soon puffed back into the station. The fat controller was waiting. Stanley was worried about what he would say. But the fat controller wasn't cross. He was worried. Stanley, we need to chalk, he said. Stanley gulped. Dowager Hat climbed out of the train and came to see Stanley. I know you want to make me proud, Stanley, said the fat controller, but you should know that your safety is important. I cannot have broken engines working on my railway. You should have gone to the works as soon as you realised something was wrong. I didn't want you to choose another engine for this job, sir, said Stanley sadly. I know, Stanley, said the fat controller, but I would have sent you to the works right away, and we could have moved the trip for another time. Do you understand where we are coming from, Stanley? asked Dowager Hat. Yes, I do, agreed Stanley. I'm very sorry, sir. I'm very sorry, Dowager Hat. I shall send you to the works straight away, said the fat controller. Yes, sir, smiled Stanley. 
A few days later, Stanley was fixed, and he was soon taking the fat controller and his family for another trip into the hills. As Stanley puffed to the top of the steep hill, this time no noises came from Stanley's wheels. Stanley was pleased. Dowager Hatch was pleased too. How about we call this place Stanley Green? She suggested. The fat controller was puzzled. This is where Stanley broke down, explained Dowager and others can hear the tale of Stanley's doubt. The fat controller agreed, and so did Lady Hat, Stephen and Bridget. What do you think, Stanley? called Dowager, leaning out of the window. Should we call this place Stanley Green? Stanley laughed and agreed. Even Gremlin thought it was a good idea. A woof woof. <laughs>